Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we'll dive into the top 10 Excel functions you need to know. These will not only save you time, but also make your spreadsheets more powerful and dynamic. First up, the sum function. This is one of the most basic yet powerful functions in Excel. It allows you to add up a range of numbers quickly. For example, if you have numbers in cells C5 to C10 representing weekly sales, you can use the formula equals sum C5 to C10 to get the total sales for the six weeks. As you can see, Excel has calculated the sum of all the values in this range and displays the total. Next, we have the average function which calculates the mean of a group of numbers. Suppose you have test scores for students in column F by typing equals average and then selecting the range like this. This will display the mean value of all the scores in this range, providing a quick overview of how the class performs overall. The VLOOKUP function is essential for finding data in a table or range by row. For instance, if you have a table with item names in column I and their prices in column J, you can look up the price of an item by using VLOOKUP. We type equals VLOOKUP. First enter the item we are searching for, which is Apple. Then the range within which we are searching for the item, so we can select both columns, followed by the number 2, which indicates the column number from which to return the value. And finally, false ensures an exact match. This returns the price 2, which is indeed the price of an apple. If we change the lookup item to an orange, you can see that the price updates accordingly. Next, the if function, which lets you perform a logical test and returns one value for a true result and another for a false result. Here we have test scores and we want to understand if the score represents a pass or a fail. We can type equals if and then say if the score is greater than 50, then we want it to return pass. Whereas if the condition does not hold, then we want it to return fail. We can then drag the cell down to apply it to the other scores as well. This is a powerful way to automate decision-making in your spreadsheets. Meanwhile, concatenate is used to join several text strings into one. If you want to combine the first and last names from cells P5 and Q5, then you can use this function. We type equals concatenate, first enter the first name, followed by a comma, and then we add a space as follows, followed by the last name. We can then close brackets and click enter. As you can see, this combines the first and last names together. Once again, we can double click the bottom right hand corner to drag this down. This formula is particularly useful for creating full names, addresses, or any other combined text string. Next, let's explore the COUNTIF function, which counts the number of cells that meet a criterion. Here we again have the weekly sales figures and we want to identify how many of the sales figures exceed 250. We can type equals count if, select the range and then add the criterion as follows. As you can see, it returns five as only one figure is below 250 in week five. Index and match are incredibly powerful when used together. They allow for more flexible lookups than VLOOKUP. Here we have the sales in a range of stores in both January and February. How can we extract the sales for store A 
in January in an automated way? Well, we can type equals index and first select the whole range. We can then use the match function to identify the row number. So we are looking for store A in this column here, column C, and we want an exact match, so we can type false. Finally, we can use match again, and this time to identify the month that we want to use. So we first select the lookup value, and then we select this row here, which contains the months, followed by false, as we want an exact match. We can then close brackets and click enter. As you can see, it's returned 401, which is indeed the sales figure for store A in January. If we change the parameters as follows, you can see that the sales figure updates correctly. Next up, sum if, which adds the cells specified by a given condition. For example, we have the profits in a range of regions, but want to find the total profit only in the north. We can type equals sum if, first select the regions, followed by the criterion, which is north, and then we can select the sum range, which corresponds to the profits. When we click enter, you can see that it's added 193 and 127 to give 320. This brings us to the left and right functions, which can extract specific parts of a text string. Here we have a bunch of phone numbers and wish to extract the area code and the last four digits. To extract the area code, we can use the left function and we can type three, which extracts the first three characters. To extract the last four characters, we can use the right function and then we can type four to extract the last four characters. We can then once again double click to bring the formulae down. Therefore, these functions are really useful for tasks like extracting area codes from phone numbers or passing out specific parts of a string. Finally, the today and now functions return the current date and time. For example, equals today gives you today's date and equals now provides both the current date and time. These functions are really useful and handy for timestamping your data or calculating the difference between two dates. So those are the top 10 functions you must know in Excel. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.